Thank you. Mr. Rice. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Uh, three, two, two housekeeping things and one money matter. Uh, first one, at the last meeting, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, was uh, Ms. Landis was very uh, embarrassed and lambasted by the chairman while you were gone. Vice Chair. I don't want to hear this. You're going to get personal. Get him out of here. Okay, let's let's just let's let's why don't you just talk about the policy? What you're well, I'm talking about the vice chair. So if that's personal, uh, he ought to resign from office. Okay, go ahead. Uh, David, anyway, the the point is that we need to have uh, order behind the desk as well as here at the podium. And I'd like for you to look into that and make sure it don't happen again. Uh, the other thing is under. Uh, The public minutes. The public minutes have been taken out of the minutes, and the people that's speaking in public, their minutes or their voice is not being counted. They're only documenting that they are here. Now, the lawyer will say they don't have to do that. I don't care what he had to say, but the point is they've been documented for years. So why now, and who voted? Did this commission vote in public? No. Somebody decided to take this out. I'd like to know the answer to that. I asked it at the last meeting, and I'd like to know the answer. Who voted to take that out of the minutes? Because public minutes ought to reflect uh, what it's designed to do. The other thing, on the uh, firearms of retiring deputies, I think is nine or ten. $2,500, $1,500, or $1,000 goes a long ways when it comes to people's life in our community and, and social service and how many lives that, that money could touch. If the firearms, which I just asked about, uh, sold for $450 as the market would on a used firearm, that'd be $4,500 for 10 deputies that get these retirement. I would like to ask y'all to ask the sheriff to consider selling these weapons rather than giving them as gifts and donate that money back to the community to be used for services in the community. And because most of these people that are uh, getting these firearms, uh, they always uh, used to it wear them in uh, extra in their boots. So I know they've already got firearms, even more than one. So I would like to bring that to your attention because I think our money ought to go, and I don't think the deputies have a problem with that if we ask them first. All right. Thank you, Mr. Rice. I, there's been no change in our policy as far as minutes that I'm aware of. Is that accurate? Following the, uh, the recommendation of the Institute of Government, you only have to document that you held public comment and, and say who spoke, and that's what we have done. And that was an administrative move. It was not something we brought to you. Uh, it, it was just following the uh, School of Government's instructions. Thank you. Okay, any other public comment tonight? If not, is there a motion Move to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Second. Motion to second. All those in favor say aye. Aye.